This is intended as an all levels class, so feel free to modify where you need to within the sequence. You can always pump it up, add, or subtract, especially when it comes to inversions. If you feel comfortable with inversions, great, and if you need to set up on a wall to feel comfortable, that works too. And you can always skip the inversion uh, pockets in the sequence as well because this is all about you waking up and arriving in your body. So let's begin on all fours. Pressing down into the palms, exhale through cat pose, and inhale through cow pose. Add any other movement in the shoulders, in the neck, in the pelvis that feels comfortable. Center the weight over your palms. Once you feel complete with this movement, you can settle back into child's pose. Either keeping the arms active, stretching forward, or you can relax your arms down along your shins. Take a moment to settle, and then connect to your breath. And if you're feeling anxious this morning, you might really embrace your natural breath in your practice today. Otherwise, settling into an even breath, even duration, even depth between your inhales and your exhales. Inhale, you can come up through all fours again. Press down into your palms and hover your knees up off the mat. Engage the core, root into the palms, and eventually press back, downward facing dog pose. You can pedal your feet. Continuing to connect to your breath in this shape. Noticing where you feel downward facing dog emphasized in your body this morning. Breathing into any sensations, any ideas or thoughts as they arise. Keeping the breath in the foreground. That gentle sound of your breath as it's brushing up against the back of the throat. Leaning into your palms, come up onto the tiptoes, walk your hands, excuse me, your feet towards your hands. Forward fold, sweeping the arms behind, interlacing the fingers behind your back. Head is heavy, knees can be soft. Centering your weight over your feet, side to side, front to back. Again, breathing into these sensations in your body as they arise. your jaw, releasing the arms, halfway lift, inhale, forward fold, exhale, inhale, stand all the way up, stretching your arms up over your head, rooting down into your feet, grab your right wrist with your left hand and exhale up and over to your left, you can look down into the left as you lean to the left, keep the weight centered over the feet, breathe in, Breathe out. Inhale, come back up through the center. Grab your left wrist. Exhale, up and over to your right. Weight stays centered over the feet. Gazing down towards your right pinky toe as you lean right.
Inhale brings you straight up through the center. As you exhale, cactus gold post arms, a little hint at a back bend here, rooted through the legs. Inhale, stretch your arms up, exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale, and step back through plank pose, the top of a push up, hold here in your plank, weight centered over the palms, strong line of energy from your heels to your tail to the crown of your head. Gaze forward, shift forward, exhale through chaturanga. Inhale through your back bend, strong legs. Exhale, downward facing dog pose. Breathe. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward, lean into the arms. And as you exhale, step your right foot to the top of your mat. Stretch long through the torso, center the weight over your right foot. And we'll keep the left hand on the floor. And we'll stretch the right arm up, revolved crescent lunge. Open in your chest and your rib cage towards your inner right thigh. Strongly hugging the muscles of the legs to the bone. Exhale, replace the hand down, and as you inhale, drop your back knee, low lunge position. Pause here. Grab your left wrist and lean up and over to your right. Think length through the left side, through the left front of the hip and thigh. Keep your weight centered over your right foot like you were standing on it. Reaching the arms up again, inhale, cactus arms. Exhale, maybe you hint at a back bend. Re-extend the arms, inhale, place the hands on the mat, step back downward facing dog pose, exhale. Inhale, lean into the arms, bend the knees, step your left foot forward, find some length through the torso all the way up through your neck. Right hand stays on the floor, left arm stretches up, you can really sense your arms stretching apart, top line of the shoulders is soft. The rib cage is turning towards the inner left thigh. The inseams of the thighs are hugging in towards the midline. Relax your throat, relax your jaw, breathe. Returning the left hand down, drop the back knee, low lunge position. Rooted through your left foot as you exhale, grab your right wrist and as you lean up and over to the right, really draw the right hip forward and the left hip back. Breathe length into the front of your right hip and thigh. Stay centered over your left foot as you lunge into the left knee. Inhale, the arms stretch up. Cactus arms as you exhale. Breathe. Inhale, stretch the arms back up. And as you exhale, we'll step forward, forward fold. Halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale as you stand up, extended mountain pose. Exhale, hands come through the heart and the arms release down by your sides. Inhale, extended mountain. Exhale, grab your right wrist up and over to the left, rooted through the feet. Inhale, up through the center. Exhale, grab the left wrist up and over to your right. Inhale through the center. And as you exhale, cactus arms, hint at a back bend, keep the legs strong, extend the arms, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, you can step or hop your feet back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe. Inhale, lean into the hands, step your right foot forward, revolved lunge, left hand stays down, right arm reaches up. Strong through your legs as the hands touch down, drop the back knee, inhale, low lunge. Exhale, grab the left wrist again, up and over to the right, one breath, one movement. Inhale, you can extend back up, cactus arms as you exhale. Re-extend the arms, inhale, hands float down, 
Exhale, downward facing dog. Rooted through the palms, step your left foot forward, and then stretch your left arm up. Right fingertips or palm stays on the mat. Inseams of the legs hug in as you lunge into that left knee. Exhale, left hand to the floor, low lunge position, inhale. Grab your right wrist up and over to your left. Exhale, feel that stretch through your right inner thigh, front of the hip. As you inhale through the center, as you exhale, cactus arms, light through the heart. Re-extend the arms, inhale. Exhale, step forward, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, extended mountain. Exhale, hands through your heart. Inhale, extended mountain. Exhale, lean up and over to your left. Inhale, straight up through the center. Exhale, lean up and over to your right. Inhale, up through the center. Exhale, cactus arms, open heart, strong legs, extended mountain. Inhale, forward fold. Exhale. Halfway lift. Inhale, chaturanga or downward facing dog. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Reconnect to that evenness of breath. Sensation in the body. You can step forward or you can take some hop. Kicks forward. Think heels and hips lift as you press your hands into your mat up into the core as you press down into the floor, hips lift. It's all about repetition. When you do feel complete, find your way to the top of your mat again. Forward fold, half lift as you inhale, fold as you exhale. Inhale, rise, extended mountain. Exhale, hands come through the heart. Keep the hands at the heart, sink into your chair pose, weight centered over the feet. Then extend the arms forward and up from the waist down, you're sinking down. From the waist up, you're lifting up. Strong in the legs, soft through the top of the shoulders. Breathe. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, chaturanga, exhale. Up dog, inhale, down dog, exhale. Take a breath in, lift the right leg. As you exhale, lunge your right foot forward, find your warrior one, inhale, arms extend. Cactus arms as you exhale, wrap the right arm on top of the left. Eagle arms, drive down into your right foot, step forward, eagle legs. Drawing the navel in, sinking low, and then maybe bringing the elbows down outside of your right, excuse me, of your left thigh. Keep the breath even and steady, find a gazing point to look at. Drive down into the right leg, inhale up, step back, warrior one, inhale. Exhale, hands come to the mat. Take your vinyasa or down dog. Inhale, lift your left leg. Exhale, lunge your left foot forward. Inhale, warrior one. Four corners, both feet ground. Exhale, cactus arms. This time wrap your left arm on top. Step forward, wrap your right leg on top. Tiptoes to the floor, ankle behind the ankle. You're hugging the legs together as you sink a little lower into your stance. Elbows stay at the height of the shoulders, whether you're upright or the elbows are coming down outside of the right thigh. Even breath here. Inhale upright, step back, warrior one. Exhale through your vinyasa or down dog.
Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step, hop, float. Do a few hip kicks if you need to. Make your way in the next couple breaths to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, rooting down, lifting from the waist up. Exhale, stand up, mountain pose. Inhale, chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, strong legs in your back bend. Exhale, weight centered over your palms as you press back down dog. Inhale, the right leg lifts. Exhale, lunge your right foot forward, warrior two position, chest, and pelvis open towards the left side of your mat. As your arms reach out to the sides, trap the front knee over the middle of your foot. Steady yourself here, strong in both legs. Light across the top line of the shoulders. Bringing your right hand down to the ankle or inside of your foot, side angle pose. The left arm can stay vertical, the left arm can reach up and over your left ear. Drive back into your left leg, drive down into your right foot. Half moon pose, slide the left foot in and up. Continue to open the pelvis and the chest towards the left side of your mat. Drive down into your right foot. Flex your left ankle so you can engage your top glute. Reach the arms apart. Make your way back to side angle pose. And then inhale, reverse warrior. Hold here, take a breath. Exhale as you return your hands to the mat and we'll take side plank, keeping the left hand on the floor, reaching the right arm up or any variation of your Vashistasana side plank here. Engage your left upper arm as you drive into the floor through the left arm and leg, lift through the right arm and leg. Breathe. Stepping your right foot behind you, wild thing, keep the upper left arm strong. Lifting through the chest and the pelvis as you drive down into the feet and your left hand. Move through a vinyasa or downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, lunge your left foot forward, warrior two. As you center your weight over both of your feet, you can lift up and out of your left hip crease, allow the right hip crease to drop. Soft across the collarbones, even as the arms stay strong, come into your side angle pose, either keeping the right arm vertical or it can reach up and over your right ear. Drive down into the left foot, drive back through the right leg. Strong line of energy here as you look down. Take your half moon Ardha Chandrasana, the right foot lifts. The foot flexes towards the right side of your mat so you can engage your top glutes. You're driving down into the floor through the left leg. You're reaching the arms apart, opening the rib cage, the pelvis towards the right side of your mat the best that you can. Breathe, even breath. Take it back through your side angle pose. Top line of the shoulders stay soft, strong through your core. Reverse warrior, again, hold here. Take a breath. Keep the lunge in the left knee. Hands come to your mat. Actually, take your vinyasa but we'll take the other side of our side plank here so rooting into your right palm 
rolling to the pinky edge of your right foot. And this time, any variation, the left arm and leg are on top. So drive down into your right arm, into your right leg. Lift up through the left arm, maybe lift up through the left leg. Strong through the core, strong through your upper right arm. Steady your breathing in your expression of Vashistasana. And then step your left foot behind you for wild thing, driving down into the floor. Keep your upper right arm strong. Breathe into the side ribs. Take this through your vinyasa or downward facing dog. Keeping the breath even. Continuing to observe. Where do you feel sensation, warmth, tingles, breath in your body? Again, you can step forward or take some hops. Pressing down into the palms, think hips up, heels up. Strong in your core. Press that mountain away. Again, land in a forward fold, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale through your chair pose. Exhale, stand up, release your arms down by your sides. Turning to face the side of your mat now, feet might turn in slightly, reaching the arms out as you fold. Wide-legged forward fold, letting the head drop. You can grab behind your ankles, you can grab your big toes with your peace fingers and thumbs. Head hangs heavy, top line of the shoulders lifts up away from the ears. Really sense that you're grounded from your pelvis down into the four corners of both of your feet. Breathe into the sensation where you feel this shape emphasized the most in your body today. Bringing yourself upright again as you're ready to. You can heel toe your feet in to about hip distance apart. Shift the weight into your left leg. Lift your right leg from the inside of the foot. Grab the pinky edge of the foot, almost like a half happy baby pose. And then as you open the knee, you can keep it bent or extend the leg, pressing the foot and the hand into each other, driving down into your standing leg. Nice and tall through the spine, just like in warrior two, your chest and your pelvis are facing towards the side of the mat. Breathe. See how softly you can return the right foot to the floor. Switching sides. Shift the weight into the right foot. Lift your left leg. Grab outside of your left foot from the inside with your left hand. As the knee opens, it might stay bent. You can extend the leg. You're kicking your left hand with your left leg. You're driving down into your right leg. Standing nice and tall all the way up through your neck. Breathe. foot down again you can step or hop your feet wide You're coming back into your forward fold wide-legged or taking some straddle kicks into your handstand leaning into the palms towards the fingertips drive into the floor kick your legs out to the sides kick the legs out and up think hips up as you exhale hop maybe you catch some air time Lifting up into the core, pressing the mountain away. Coming into a squat pose, malasana.
returning to face the front of your mat again. And you might stay in your squat pose or add in Bakasana crow pose here. Either staying in crow or tucking your chin, top of the head to your mat, tripod headstand. Maybe you can lift the legs up. Head is dropping, you're pressing into the palms. You're lifting the heads of the shoulders up, lifting the legs up. So you can drift it back into your crow pose here. You can always stay in tripod or in your squat. Maybe stepping back, hopping your feet back, chaturanga or down dog. Stay with your breath. Keep the weight centered over your palms. We'll meet in downward facing dog. And notice maybe the body feels warmer. You feel more present physically in your body, a little bit more awake, invigorated. Continuing with that, we'll inhale, lift the right leg up and you can always take steps forward if you need to. Otherwise, take some hops leaning into the palms, floating your left foot up, and eventually your left foot lands towards the top of the mat. In your standing split, you're kicking your right leg up, you're rooting down into the left leg, and as you fold, you might grab behind the left ankle with one or both hands. Draw your left outer thigh, left outer shin back, so you can lift your right heel a little bit higher, draw into the core, Breathe into the hamstrings. Feel free to take some hop switches through your handstand. Catch some air time. Coming back into downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg now. And same thing, you can step forward with your right leg or take a few hops. Hopping that right foot towards your hands a bit more into your standing split. Hands can frame the right foot or you can grab behind your right ankle as you kick your left leg up. Again, you're driving down into the four corners of the right foot, but you're drawing your standing leg back. Think of the outer hip, the outer right thigh, the outer right ankle pulling back in space to help you lift the left leg higher. Draw up into your core so that you're lighter on that left foot already here. Challenge your balance. Maybe that's staying here in your standing split. Maybe that's taking some hops towards your handstand, whether you keep the legs straight or like I do, you kick your right heel towards your right bent cheek as you lean into the arms. Think hips up, left leg up. Press the mountain away. Downward facing dog pose when you're ready. Breathe into the residuals of that last shape. Dropping your knees. Roll over the legs. Come to seated with your legs out in front of you. Grabbing opposite forearms behind your thighs. Tiptoes can stay on the mat or you can float your feet up, really drive your thighs and your forearms into each other, sit tall. You can stay there or reach your arms forward. Hold in your boat pose. The knees can stay bent. You can extend the legs. Hold in your boat pose. Fingertips come behind you. Light on the hands as you hover the right leg down. Lift it up. Hover the left leg down. Lift it up. Keep that left leg lifted as you lower the right leg and lift it as you lower the left leg. See if you can do both legs. Again, the knees can be bent. Stay light on the hands. Hug the muscles of the legs to the bone. Dropping the legs down to hover, lifting everything up. Come back 
through your boat pose, arms reach out in front of you, and then lower part of the way down, keeping the head and the shoulders lifted as you kick, flutter, kick, flutter, kick, draw into your core, chest and throat are soft, flutter, kick. Flutter kicking. And then hug your knees into your chest on your back. Feet come to the floor, bridge pose. Interlace your fingers under your butt, draw the shoulder blades up, flush into the back. Drive down into the four corners of your feet, all the way from the pelvis, drive down into the legs. Breathe wide into the sides. You can slowly roll back down. Bending your elbows like robot arms, forearms perpendicular to the floor. Press your upper arms down as you lift the hips. Slide your fingertips under the shoulders, upward facing bow pose. As you're ready, press out of the arms and the legs lift up. You can always stay in bridge. Shoulder blades flush into the back, rooting down four corners of the feet from the pelvis. Really strong legs here. As you're complete, you can roll yourself back down. Breathe, notice the residuals here. Rock and roll action, eventually rock yourself. See if you can catch yourself in your boat pose again. Hold here in boat pose, pelvis dropping, everything else floating up away from the mat. Like a boat, can you float? And roll over your feet through vinyasa or straight back to downward facing dog pose. holding in your down dog or taking a few more donkey kicks here. Think hips and heels up as you root down into the arms. Again, it's all about repetition, so just going, keeping the weight centered over the palms. Feel free to stay in down dog. You gotta meet yourself where you are this morning. As much as we want this practice to awaken us, we want it also to nourish us. Coming through seated, we'll take double pigeon here, right ankle, right shin on top. You can always roll to your back and take a figure four hip stretch. If that's better, bowing over your shins, keeping a flex in your ankles. As you bow, inhale, keep a little bit of length through the spine, up through your neck. Exhale, soften through your chest and your belly, keeping the belly soft as the navel draws back in. A few more breaths here. Coming upright again, you can switch the cross of the legs left shin on top, flexing the ankles, bowing over the shins. Again, maintain that little bit of length up through the spine here. Each exhale, the low belly softens as the navel draws in. You get that gentle massage of your organs in your belly every time that you exhale. A couple more breaths here. sensations, coming upright, extending both legs forward, setting up for Paschimottanasana, seated forward bend. You can grab outside the ankles or the feet as you fold, flex the feet, stretch the back of the calves. You can always soften the knees a bit if you're really tight in your hamstrings. 
Each breath in, that little bit of spinal length up through the neck. Each breath out, the throat, the chest, the belly soften as the navel draws in. Let the weight of your shin and thigh bones be heavy. Breathe into the back side of your body here. Inhale to come upright, making your way onto your back. Take plow pose, hands can stay on the mid back. Legs can stay over your face or you can take your legs up for shoulder stand. Often I'll walk my hands up my upper back a bit here, draw the elbows in. Again, the shoulder blades draw flush into the back. The head and neck are neutral and passive. It's more your upper arms driving down into the mat, lifting the pelvis, lifting the legs. Breathing into the sensation. You can always come into waterfall on your back if you need to, with your legs extending and your back flat on the mat. Legs can come back up over your head through plow pose. And just as you're ready, you can slowly articulate the spine down from the top down. Slowly releasing the legs forward and down. The knees can bend if they need to. Taking fish pose. Bending your elbows, tipping the head back. Maybe the crown of the head comes to your mat. Find your expression in your fish pose, opening the front of the throat. Keeping a lift through the back of the heart. you're complete, you can tuck your chin, come flat onto your back again. Soles of the feet together, knees open, Supta Baddha Konasana. Bring your right hand to your belly, bring your left hand to your chest, let your elbows drop, close your eyes. Take a few slow, full breaths here. Hugging the knees into your chest, dropping your knees over to your left, looking over your right arm, take a couple breaths. And then switch sides, other side of the twist, knees drop to the other side, looking over the opposite arm. Inhale, hug the knees in, you can rock and roll. We can come up right into our final posture, our seated meditation to close out our morning practice here. So closing your eyes, resting your hands in your lap. Take a moment to adjust, to arrive. Leading into our meditation with this inspiration today, the metaphor of the pebble. Can you be like the pebble as it falls into the ocean? Can you be like the pebble as it falls down into the sandy bottom of the ocean? You can sense life much like the water in the ocean, rushing around you, thoughts, sensations, breath. But can you, like the pebble, settle into the sandy bottom of the ocean? Can you find the peace in this moment?
attention comes back to the breath. You can rub your palms together and then cup your hands over your eyes and just look into the darkness of the palms and notice what you see. Relaxing the eyes as you look into the palms, open to whatever arises. And then bringing the palms together, bowing your chin towards your chest. Thank you so much for sharing your practice. I hope you have a beautiful day. And may we take this playful sense of presence and breath with us off of our mat and into the rest of our day. Namaste.